everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and footwear looks like. Today we are going to be taking a look at a real pair of Vetement Reebok sock sneakers, so let's get into it. But before we get going, I've looked into it and a very, very tiny percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So it doesn't cost you anything. If you like the content I make, just click that subscribe button and I thank you profusely. So first, let's take a look at this box. And interestingly and uniquely, it's almost a perfect square, measuring 13.75 inches by 13 inches. And as you can see, it is a matte gray cardboard box. And in there, in the center, you've got a debossed Vetement logo there, all caps. On one of the short sides, you've got a Reebok logo debossed into there as well. And on the front longer side, you've got a full Reebok name debossed in there. The bottom has a bit of recycling information at the bottom here, a few different symbols, and then some Reebok information in the bottom right. And then the other sort of shorter side has the other Reebok logo debossed here, and then all the good info on these stickers here. So right up top here, that's our model number, then our model classic sock boots, heel height one centimeter, polyester white, and then our size here, which we're gonna talk about later. There's some interesting stuff with the sizing here. And then I'm showing this, they do have this sticker over this, but you can see some size info under there, color info made in China. So this is covered up right now, but you may see this sticker under here instead. Now let's open this thing up and see what we got. So the big thing to notice inside the box is right here. So this is kind of a wavy cut here, and then You've got your measurements printed in very small right there in black. And they do come with two dust bags, a right and a left. They are kind of a gray canvas, and they cinch shut at the top with these gray strings here. Now let's take a look at these shoes here. And these are going to just kind of flop around because they are very much socks, right? It's not a solid kind of frame or anything. It's really socks inside of a sole here. So you can see at the front, you've got left for the left foot and right on the right foot. And those are stitched into the sock itself. You can kind of feel the letters coming out of the white of the shoe itself. But you can see the kind of waviness of the embroidery there. You're going to get this logo up at the kind of calf here. And this would be facing forwards on the front. So it's not on the side. This would be the side, but it's the front. And again, you can see the kind of waviness of that embroidery. And then you can see it's nice and centered between the two colored bars here. And then as for the construction, it's really in two pieces. There's this front piece here, and then the leg piece, ankle piece here, and those are stitched together right along there, as you can see. And there are these kind of arrow stitches. And these soles are a kind of hard foam. There's the kind of gum color and black. The black is very much of a harder plastic, and then the foam are these gum parts. You can take a look at how it flips up at the top there, at the toes. And then down here at the heel, you've got Reebok embossed here in the black part. Of course, take a look at these shapes of the sole. This would be the midsole, I suppose, and how it connects up to the gum foam part. And you get a kind of molding line going along there in the back. And if we take a look at these soles, there's a few different textures to look at. So up here by the toes, you get these kind of spikes here, two sets of them. And then there's a gap there. And then you get these treaded bits right here. And they're kind of like in the shape of lungs almost. And you get a standalone square here of the tread. And then this kind of backwards L shape, or maybe a J you could call it, again with that treaded sort of texture to it. And then you've got a few kind of three cups inside the black plastic here. And don't be alarmed if you see some glue like you do right there, but there really isn't too much visible here. Inside the shoe you get a white heat press tag there up top made in China, Fabrique and Sheen. Then you get all your sizing, USA, UK, European, centimeters and millimeters. You get a QR code in the bottom left, Reebok logo in the bottom right, and some model information above there. Inside it is a bit hard to see, but you do kind of continue that sock texture in the insole. You can see it's kind of vertical white stripes almost, these little ribs. 
Now let's talk about the sizing. So I got these because they were massively on sale and I was expecting to resell them because they are two sizes smaller than my normal size. But when you see my foot next to it, it matches up quite well. So let's put these on. And there you go, they fit like a glove. So again, these are two sizes too small, technically, and they do fit very snug, but in my opinion, that's how a sock is supposed to feel on your foot. So it really hugs my feet, hugs them right into the sole, very comfortable, very nice to walk in. So if I were you, I wouldn't size down twice, that's kind of risky, but sizing down one, I think would be the right move. So that is how you tell the difference between a real and a fake pair of Vetmall Reebok sock sneakers. Take a look at the other video on screen here, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I will see you next time.